My people, what's going on? Got an interesting NFL topic for you today. Try this one on for size. Vince Young and Cedric Benson have both been in the news lately for screwing up off the field. But the reaction to both players screwing up been a lot different. Now think about this. Vince Young was involved in that Dallas Strip Club skirmish. He received a misdemeanor assault citation. It's a maximum $500 fine. Basically the equivalent of a traffic ticket. Not the most hideous run-in with the law of all time. Yet a lot of people were saying, suspend Vince Young. Vince Young should be suspended. They're foaming at the mouth and everything. Now, on the other hand, Cedric Benson was charged with misdemeanor assault for allegedly punching a bar employee in the face. It's a maximum $4,000 fine and up to a year in jail. Yet there was nobody saying suspend Cedric Benson. Cedric Benson should be suspended. There's no foam. You can hear a pin drop when it comes to people saying suspend Cedric Benson. It's not happening. You know what this shows me? There's a big time difference in reaction between quarterbacks screwing up off the field and non-quarterbacks screwing up off the field. It's a much bigger story when quarterbacks mess up. And you think about it, quarterback is a high profile position. Those guys are always in the limelight. They generate a ton of attention. And it's just a much bigger deal when they screw up. How else can you explain the difference in reaction between Vince Young and Cedric Benson screwing up? Cedric Benson's the guy that's involved in something slightly more severe than Vince Young. Plus, he's the guy who's had other run-ins with the law before this one. Vince Young hasn't. And yet, Vince Young's the guy who's being criticized more, and people are saying suspend him. Huh? Quarterbacks are overly criticized on and off the field. And you think about other cases or situations. Look at Michael Vick and the dogfighting deal. Look at Big Ben Roethlisberger and him being accused of sexual assault twice. Now, I'm not saying those guys didn't deserve their fair share of criticism. I'm not saying that at all. But I am saying, are you telling me those stories would have been as big as they were if those guys weren't quarterbacks? You really think that? Please tell me you're not telling me that. Come on. You don't think that those guys being high profile, having the names that they have, didn't have something to do with those stories being enormous? Of course it did. You're talking about high profile athletes. You're talking about them being in the limelight, playing the most important position in football, maybe in sports. Of course it factors into the amount of attention. Are you telling me the Michael Vick story would have been as big as it was if that was a linebacker? You're telling me the Big Ben story would have been as huge as it was if that was an offensive guard? Of course it wouldn't be. Now, you look at other non-quarterbacks who have screwed up off the field. Yeah, there have been some big stories. You think about Ray Lewis being arrested for murder about 10 years ago. That was a big story when it happened. But how much bigger would that story have been if Ray Ray was a quarterback? I'm Brian No, and that's a no-brainer. <laughs>